Hello everybody, Fatimix here. Welcome back to Let's Play Motorsport Manager. This is the head start for Hawkins Campaign Race 8, halfway through. And we're headed off to Guildford, where I have had better luck, usually, than I deserve. Now if we look at the standings, almost triple the points of Panther. I did a bit of calculating. Assuming the distribution of points is about the same, we could potentially clinch by race 10, but it would be close, more likely race 11 if we have any slip-ups at all, which I really do think are going to be happening soon. So we've got Guildford, Milan, and Arden, and then possibly uh, Phoenix. But by the end of that, I expect to have clinched and do the rest off-screen. So that's where we are in wrapping up this challenge, and we're only halfway through, but Wrapping up still seems to be the way it's going to go. Uh, yeah, another day. Uh, CSN has a question for us. Uh, Dia so soaking shower campaign, blah, 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 blah. Um, yep, we're going to uh, support our people. So those are getting rather repetitive at this point. Um, not at all a hard fought win for Dias. You're lying again. There's our repairs, and did we have a sponsor open, or was it? Yeah, it's one more race till our first uh, potential two-star sponsor. Okay. And I don't think we had anything. Nope, we don't have anything that we can improve. So everybody's going to sit here and be bored. So let's just get on with it. See, uh, yes, he's better than happy that we're not finishing down in eighth. Megan Twiggs wants to talk about Guildford. <coughs> 43 laps, three and a half miles, track record close to two minutes. So as a longer track, we're definitely going to be looking at being more selective in practice. Um, some rain chance. Um, high speed circuits, strong engines, and we've got the best engines, so that should be good. Super soft, soft, and medium, the standard approaches. And Roger Harrison loves having uh, a great engine. Okay, and the ERS went to our den and did their things which we don't care about. You're going to whine about money again, aren't you? Yes, you are. We're considered the team to beat, of course. <laughs> Zoe Sharp talking smack, saying Victoria Diaz doesn't deserve to be on top. And uh, Jenny North looking forward to having a big race for Catano. So that's our preview. Let's see how the changes in our car. Definitely the overall is lower. Wow, fifth. Um, still the best engine. Still the best acceleration. Second in brakes. So, I mean, that that's still strong. Sixth in the front wing. Fifth suspension. Sixth, yeah. So, dead average there. We're still above average... Uh, just a hair in the rear wing, and by a significant amount on the suspension. Um, you know, it's 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 our chassis, and more importantly, of course, the race strategy that's getting us through at this point. I still think we want to go with our second place goal. Particularly after what happened last time. Now it says 18, 19, 15 degrees on race day, which means... We're probably going to be vacillating between super softs and softs. I don't see any reason to go medium. I don't think we'll have time to get into it much in practice. I just, I don't see any reason to really use them at all, so...
Could go nine and five. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Nine and five. Off we go. Well, let's take a look at our predictions here. Harrison picked third and Diaz fifth. Well, let's let's prove them wrong, shall we? Birds are out here at Guildford. Okay, so we've got the engine, the suspension, and the rear wing is crucial. Well, while the engine is number one, and we're looking great on that. We're not anything great on the other part. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Let's get a little more acceleration going. Try that. Don't want to be too choosy at first. Um, and yeah, one on super softs, one on softs. I can just leave you there. Oh, you want to go lower. We'll see who ends up being more correct on the downforce here. Um, some definite changes to steering as well. And you're a lot more on the top speed thing, which is probably going to be more accurate on this track. So let's run about there. Let's get out and take a look. And Harrison wanting to go with the race trim at first, fine. Just stick with the minimum because you're going to be coming in quickly. And then Dios, probably on qualifying. Nope, race trim for you as well. Okay. Harrison 6.7, DS 5.7, so Harrison looking a little better here. Boy, almost half the field on mediums. Zoom in here. Uh, that's not really going to work out too well for them, I don't think. It look, looks like very few on softs, just Diaz and Vidal. Everybody else wants either mediums or supers, so they're going for either endurance or quality. And of course, Guildford is where we had one of our challenges, a single race challenge. The, uh, the one with the bad brakes, breaking point, I believe it was. And that was, the single race ones can be, can be challenging. That was, that one took a while to get through. So right now, we're looking decent, and Dios happy with uh, the gear ratios. Harrison says they're too short. Yep. That doesn't surprise me at all. So Dios was more on the money with that, and Harrison will make an adjustment quickly. Looks like Dios is going to try to stay out there. Doesn't have anything uh, to complain about as of yet. And quickly sets the fastest lap early on. 70%. And we don't like, well, this is okay, but... Let's go lower. Let's 
something like that, and we'll probably have to tweak that anyway as we go around with these. Didn't say anything about the handling. I'm going to go with understeer because of the speed. And then you wanted more... We'll just, yeah, try that. This is off a bit now, I think. Yeah, let's just stick it right back in the middle. And then see what happens from there. So, same... Same everything. And so Chapman, going lowest, and you see obviously the lap times much lower than uh, they were predicted to be. Even though we're doing the full track here, it's just continually way off on that. You can see Diaz not competing with those uh, other cars. She wants more downforce and she's also on soft tires. So, not a horrible situation for us. Yep, another unimpressive opening setup. Yeah, 70 and a 68, so sometimes you hit them right on the button. This was not one of those times. Let's just be clear about that. Uh, the downforce wasn't very happy with it there, so I think I think we're going higher because that worked for uh, Harrison. Yeah, and Harrison wanted an adjustment from this, but well, maybe it should be even a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try understeer again here. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be wrong twice. And the top speed. Let's go about there. Yeah. Well, let's... Try that. Again, four laps, again, same tires. Let's see if we can do any better now. Chapman improving on his own fastest lap. We are in eighth now with Diaz and nothing from Harrison. Weather vacillating between 18 and 17 degrees. And Harrison not happy with the downforce, so he'll come in. Looks like I did go the wrong direction on his, and he's going to want more. But, uh, yeah. So far, this could be our um, most unimpressive showing time-wise. It looks like the temperature right now is quite good for super softs, which means... We're definitely, I think, going to want to go super soft during the race because it's going to be even a little bit cooler. Which would mean a lot of stops. Downforce sucks. Everything else right on the money, though. 90%. So we just got to fix that one problem. Well, that was good. This is okay. Alright, so, yeah. Try that. And then we gotta dial the other ones back in. Which is not gonna be easy. I mean, that's really close. Let's try that and see what happens with it. It's early enough.
We're at level one on softs and supers and level two on the race trim. We'll be switching over to qualifying soon. Dios happy with the downforce. Across an eighth, and Harrison, the only driver who has not completed a lap because he's been having issues with his setup the whole time. Starting to get close on the race trim now. Let's see where Diaz is when she comes around. Harrison liking the arrow at the very least. Yeah, and I think we should be able to come in now with Diaz and switch to qualify. Hmm, still not that great. 85%. We got partway there. So, that was good, and that was a little too much top speed, though. So we're going to want want to be on the short end of that. We're right in the right general area on those. Let's try hitting it about there and let's tweak these a little bit. You know, what, we'll just try go just a bit higher. That's a little more than I'd like to move it. So I'll just, yeah. That's pretty good. And then we'll qualifying trim, same tires. Don't think we'll have any problem getting those in. I think we're going to hit uh, level four three on the race qualifying soft and supers but I'm not particularly sure you know I think that's probably gonna take almost all of our time so we're gonna get everything we need but probably not with a great deal to spare and Harrison probably should have come in that lap yeah, the, with the race trim. Should have come in. So, that's going to make it tighter than it needed to be. We're sitting right in the middle of the pack now. So, nobody's going to be overly impressed by what we're doing out here. And looking great on everything. What's the percentage? 98. Going to leave that alone. Go do some quality working. Dios liking the speed balance better. Be very interesting to see if we're competitive in qualifying with, you know, these kind of time gaps. It did so well in Munich that I stuck with the top two, but if I, if we don't get a decent result here, we are at least close to those top two. I'll definitely have to switch down to a lower level sponsor. Um, to make it even more important for us to get better ones.
everybody seems to be happy. And uh, we've hit level 2 on the tires, level 1 on qualifying. So I think at this point we just keep going. Diaz is up to 6th now with her best lap. Harrison up to ninth. So with the setups coming in, we're getting a maybe slightly more competitive, but we're still over half a second behind, so let's not get too thrilled about it. Of course, we are doing it on, you know, more worn down tires than the others are using at, at this point. So, I mean, I think we're going to do better than we're doing in practice here, but it is just the continually... Um, you know, increasing level of competition. Well, the speed could get a little better. 97%. She's close. Just got to tweak the speed a bit. So, good there. Okay there. So, a little bit more acceleration. Let's try that. Everything else the same. Wow, Harrison up to second now, despite halfway gone tires. And he's just going to sit in pit row when he comes back in. I think, well, no, because we need to get the qualifying trim. So he'll come back out just to help us get that. The second and seventh. So bad start for us. We're turning in some faster laps, even on more worn tires. So not don't need to feel as concerned as we were for a bit there. And Harrison, of course, can just go right back out. Now we're at level three on everything, with two minutes to go. Dios just not having a super day overall, but I'm just glad everybody use up whatever fuel they have and come in or finish up whatever laps. And then you might have to make really minor tweaks to Dios. Harrison is right in line.
So second and seventh it is. Pretty similar to how we've been finishing recently, honestly. And Harry Chapman for Steinman, Nina Holtz for Steinman in fourth. Um, so they're looking good. Jenny North was talking up a storm for Catano. She's in tenth. Zoe Sharp eighth. So Panther not looking great in eighth and ninth. And uh, Sophie Richards says it looks like we're gonna get a good result. And people talking about Diaz's speed. Uh, even though she finished seventh. So we got lots of fans here, but, uh, you know, it seems to be a little bit out of proportion with the actual results. So we got partly cloudy, 19 degrees as expected, qualifying being the warmest day of the weekend. Might give us a little bit of help there in terms of speed to give everybody a little bit of help. Super softs and qualifying would seem to be the rather obvious order of the day. And both drivers hitting excellent on all three. So we're going to go out a 98% setup with Harrison. We've got plenty of tires. We're going to go out there as many times as we can. 98% here as well with that tweak. So, and I just want to take a look at the, yeah, so we're looking at at least two stops, two to three stops during the race. Oh, let's, let's wait a bit here. Sort of jumping the gun. Harrison again looking better today, 6-1. Dios at 4.8. It's just not looking like it's a, a super weekend for Dios, at least at this point. Things can change, but usually if you're not doing great in practice and qualifying, you're not going to all of a sudden feel super on race day. <laughs> Tire and brake attempts pretty even until that spike there at the end. Yeah, this is another one where we could have used the sweeter spot uh, thing. But again, I'd have to have like notes on the tracks to know when that's useful, when it's not. Um, not really getting that detailed into things yet. get into career and you're doing like the same races pretty much every year I think it's a good idea to make notes of that particularly if you're like in the middle of the pack or in a tight uh, promotion battle um, not so essential in this type of circumstance obviously when we're destroying the field as it is Harrison going 111 566 and Wexler beats it right away. Chapman beats it. Diaz going third. So Diaz really very competitive with the best times. Not so much for Harrison. So it looks like it's definitely going to be a three-attempt time. 
a three attempt track. So I'm going to go out again right away and then do that little waiting to try for the third one, try to get a better grip. And one more car to finish. Fourth and eighth. So we've got a shot at that sponsor bonus, but we're going to need uh, to do well to get it. Vasquez, the clear runaway uh, winner of that first round. Look at that. Quarter of a second ahead of everybody. That's pretty impressive stuff. And Harrison having some trouble with traffic on his warm up lap. Doesn't look like Diaz has that problem. Got a green car behind her, but behind is fine, just stay behind. And both drivers hitting their temps. Harrison looking like he's improving his previous run, at least so far. Yep, a couple tenths behind Vasquez, but everybody's behind Vasquez, so... That doesn't mean a whole lot. Harrison liking the results, which puts him up to fourth. And competitive with everybody not named Vasquez. Here's Diaz running faster than her first time, but looking like a little bit behind what Harrison just did. Yep, she's not happy with that. It was a little slower on the finish. So we definitely need to improve to get that bonus. But if you look, I mean, both drivers are less than three hundredths behind Wexler. So it's very, very doable. I think we want to go out at about two minutes for Harrison. Maybe just a little bit above that. I'll call it 210. I'll send him out. Let's not cut things too tight for Diaz as she'll try to bring it home for us. And a lot of cars going back out now. Everybody's going to make their final attempt looking for that good position. And we will not have anybody in the front row unless we can pull out a strong time here. Yep, that's what I was thinking too, Harrison. Just waiting our turn. Show us how you can do a better lap. Because we'd like to see it. It's worth 300k in the bank. Getting a little tight on time here. So I'm going to get her out a little bit early. Should be doing alright. sure we hit Harrison's temp where we need it. There we go. Okay. All right, and Harrison down to we're down down to sixth and seventh, but Harrison did. Oh my goodness, she didn't make it. 
I thought I had plenty of time. Well, Harrison did a good first section, not so good on the second. Ugh, fifth and <coughs> seventh. That's not what we wanted. And clearly, I'm going to need to lower our sponsor expectations. That's obvious. Even fourth might be too low. We didn't even we didn't even come close. And Vasquez, the clear class of the field, sharp somewhat back, and then there's everybody else. It's also going to make it harder for us to break away at the beginning. If you look, there's, I mean, drivers are all over the place. Catano's got first and eighth. Scuderi was seen more consistent in fourth and sixth, just ahead of us, fifth and seventh. And Steinman's third and ninth. Uh, Panther team, second and tenth. So there's no team really ahead of the others. And uh, Saren happy with his team. Everybody's impressed with Vasquez, which we all should be. I think it's his second time he's beaten us to the pole. Okay, but yeah, we're going to have to work through traffic more than we ever have before here. We're definitely going super soft. So let's just check our... Yep, it's 15. There's no sign of rain as of yet. I don't see any reason not to do super soft in race trim. We're going to forego that fuel economy deal. I think I think that the performance bonuses are worth more. And uh, let's not forget to change this. Get our fuel options. Okay, 43 laps. We try to do it in two stops might take 3. So, I believe we want to go down to 31. Vasquez, decent, sharp, looking good in the front row. Chapman, good. Wixler, not so much. Harrison, solid in row 3. And all the way back in row four, a decent uh, showing for Diaz. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of drivers just just solid. Nobody below four, and only Sharp at seven is above six. So really hoping to get off to a good start here. There's Harrison. Diaz not looking great, but wow, look at Harrison taking off. I was actually watching the red cars there, not uh, not ours. I was watching Scuderia Rossini. But Harrison's in third, and Diaz back to seventh which is where she started, so <coughs> Harrison competing for the lead, not so much Diaz at this point. Closely packed top four, Chapman, Wexler, Harrison, and Vasquez, and now it's Harrison in second, <coughs> which puts us in the sponsor objective positions. They're kind enough to tell us, and Diaz up in fifth now, challenging to get in that leading group, up to fourth. Come on, Harrison, make this pass, get by Chapman before I've got to back you off. Diaz up to third. So our light fuel strategy, as always, paying dividends. Only Harry Chapman of the holdout. And it looks like we're going to need to go down. We're going to go down here and let him burn himself out. 
not going to fight that any longer. But we're second and third and a second and a half up on everybody else. So we're feeling pretty good about things. If we finished here, we would still beat Steinman just a bit for the race. Um, but we don't want to do that. We want to get, of course, past them. And uh, Harrison would pick up some ground but still not catch Diaz in the standings. And still everybody within just over half a second here. Chapman appearing to pull ahead a little bit. Um, and Diaz is sort of stuck behind Harrison. Which is not great for her, but, uh, you know, my philosophy is let them race. Particularly when you've got evenly matched drivers like this. <laughs> we can wait. That's what we can do. We are at 78 and 78 on our tires. And Chapman's at 72. He is burning his more. As is the usual <clears throat> situation. We're still less than a second behind, so this is... You see, it's over two seconds now. Back to Wexler, Vasquez, and the rest. So Chapman maintaining about that half-second lead, but unable to pull away. And look at Diaz trying to make the pass here and think she might have it. She does. Now we'll see what happens, because if Diaz's car is indeed stronger, or her racing is stronger, or whatever, as it appears to be the case. And she may be able to pull away from Harrison and up on now. Nina Holtz has crashed. Wow. She was up among the leaders. Harrison not letting Diaz... Yeah, they're, they're side by side here. Diaz holds him off for now. And still within a second. So usually one car is able to pull away and the other one sticks, but... Not happening right now. You can see the temperature on our tires slowly warming up. And uh, still 15, no sign of any change in the weather. And look at our two drivers just, this is cool. I mean, side by side. Diaz again getting in front here. Yep. Now Chapman now slowly pulling away, and we're just fighting with each other for second and third. Could this be the race that we actually don't win? As we're now into lap 8. I don't think it will be. But uh, there's a chance of it. <laughs> but stuck behind this damn Hawkins GP. You are Hawkins GP. You're just a different driver. Oh goodness. And you see that the tire... Like usually uh, Harrison doesn't wear his tires as much. But the tires staying. For each of them, which is really interesting. So yeah, Chapman out to a second lead, so pulling away just a bit as we pull away, as Diaz pulls away just a bit from Harrison, and Harrison pulls away from the rest of the field, so there's the hierarchy is pretty well established here. And Harry Chapman, definitely the fly in the ointment at the moment. Diaz now making a good charge, getting that well under a second. Not good enough for me to really go after it, though.
it is looking like a two-stop race if things hold and a pretty well split up point total we would still be winning But uh, Harrison up to 7 now, and Diaz almost 6. So we're seeing some improvement in our driving. How's Chapman? And Chapman's a 6.6, .6, not bad at all. He's aggressively, um, he's got a lot less battery than we do. You know, he's pushing the tires more. And uh, Diaz is still right off him, 0.6 seconds. So, I mean... I think there's a chance that Chapman beats Harrison. I don't think Chapman beats Diaz, the way things are going. And probably he doesn't beat Harrison either. But, I mean, Diaz being right, you know, this close, now half a second with um, the fact that Chapman has been using a more aggressive style, I don't see, I don't see us having an issue there. And tires, yeah, we're going down in temperature said we're going up earlier obviously I was wrong about that so I think I just want to ride these out but I may be doing a little bit of pushing a little bit of pushing later on in the race just to use all of the tire both drivers pretty close Hilariously Moreno and last using the speed burst. Yeah, I'm, I'm very confident in us now getting through this on two stops. I still want to extend this first stint as much as possible. And any pushing doing the second two stints. Just for the purposes of not, you know, coming in and having to deal with a bunch more traffic. And now Chapman's going to come in. At least he wasn't slow enough to really hold us up. Because that can happen. We're going to take the lead. The question is, will we keep it? No, you can't change up the strategy. He's got one more turn. He's coming into the pits. Chill. And there we are, Diaz first, Harrison second. That's our usual thing, but let's see if that holds when we come into the pits. And looking at our tires, Harrison doing just a little bit better, so we will pit Diaz first. Definitely going to want to track how much wear we're getting on these tires, because it's going to be soon. You can see them now close together. And with a four second lead on the field, Chapman went down to 10th with, with his pit stop. And that's exactly why I'm staying out as long as I can. Okay, so I think what I want is Diaz to come in this time and then Harrison on the next stop. Yep, that'll get them both in with plenty of tire, and we're over a third of the way through the race. So since they're so close together, I've got to stagger them. We're going to want to get about 15 laps out of them the rest of the way, so... I will be doing a little bit of pushing on the next couple stints. Let me check the... Yep. So Diaz will give up the lead. So far it's been Chapman, and then Diaz. It'll be Harrison. Then the real question is, after Harrison pits, who's in the lead, what's the order, who else has come in? All of those fun things, and a good pit stop of two and a half, just under two and a half for Diaz. 
And she will come out in... Oh, let's, let's take a look at where she is. She comes out in sixth. Um, and she is behind, uh, second half behind Chapman. Chapman and Oliveira just ahead of her. So we're going to want to watch that and get her by them. Whoa, hold on. I am sitting here running my mouth. And I did not... Goodness, I didn't get uh, Harrison in. So I think I had him run. Yeah, I had him run an extra lap. And he has a 0.1 second faster pit time. Dios in fifth. Harrison in sixth. And Dios, I don't know why I'm futzing about with this. Go. Just get by. There we go. Past Oliveira. Now let's see what our gaps are. Just over a second behind Chapman. Well, we've seen this movie before. Uh, where is Harrison in sixth? Yep, it's time for him to move on by. He'll push and get uh, through Oliveira as soon as possible here. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit off on some of these adjustments. Come on, get by. She's on medium freaking tires, just get by. There we go. And that's just in time for us to run our first hybrid stint of the day. Okay, so we are fourth and fifth behind Chapman, who has pit, and Sharp and Lippin, and who has not yet. Sharp, whoa, what happened to Sharp? Okay, whatever, he is going in. So we're now third and fourth. Ah, because he's got part problems. Okay. We're third and fourth. Lippinen on uh, medium tires and has not yet come in. Still has a decent amount left on those tires. Might not have to pit as much. Um, but... Now, Diaz may be campaigning to go by here. Has really done a good job catching up. Yeah, let's let, let's try. We're gonna go for the pass. Let's go after this for a couple laps and see if we can put Chapman down. Of course, if we go to look at Harrison behind the field. Diaz, this could be it. There it is. Let's see if we can hold him off at medium. It's right behind. And a full second back to Harrison. That's more hybrid than I planned on. Let's back off. Not by a huge amount, but a little bit more. I just, I'm a little bit off in my decision making in this race. It's not costing us a huge amount, it's just annoying me. And now we're catching up to Lippinen, who has medium and wearing tires. And Chapman going all speed burst on us to stay ahead of Harrison. Still a second ahead. Lippinen not giving it up just yet. If you look at our battery, we've got a lot more battery than everybody else. Lippinen, you know, in push mode, so... We're not particularly concerned at the moment. And we are now at the halfway point of the race, only in second and fourth, although effectively first and third. Because I don't see, I don't see, you know, lipping and sticking with this lead for much longer.
And Harrison, right behind uh, Chapman. Yeah, let's make that happen. See if we can get a second, uh, second pass on him. Diaz, right on the back of, uh, you know what, you're going to go for it also. So we're going to try, there we go, Harrison trying to manage two passes at once. And there's Harrison getting the spot. And, oh my goodness. Spoke a little too soon, did you, Diaz? Side by side around the turns and finally getting there. Okay, so first and third it is. And actually it's, you know, going to be first and second whenever Aki Lippinen goes and pits. So it's looking like this is, you know, this is a much more interesting race than we've had. There's some resistance here. But at the same time, we haven't lost our edge because it looks like, looks like, we're still going to take the top two spots. As we start to come up on Moreno, who's the first car that we're going to lap. You know what, Harrison? Why don't you get by Lippinen as well? Let's just solidify our top two uh, spots here. And then I want to take a look at our tire wear. Come on. There we go, looking side to side and Lippinen trying to block him off and then he gets, he gets the pass. And now we're working our way through traffic. We only need to get about another three laps here. Or so. so I think we're good to push now on these tires. Let's just have both drivers push, get whatever speed we can out of this. And now we are, you know, almost three seconds up on Chapman. Both Chapman and Lippin are going to come in soon. Chapman really frying his tires and paying for it. So, so now we're like, okay, you've challenged us really for the first time of any significance. Good job. And now we're going to enjoy the second half of the race now that we've taken care of our business. Hybrid again. I think I definitely want to push more in the last set just to use the tires. Although super softs do degrade reasonably quickly. And Diaz a second and a half up on Harrison. Um, 6.1 Harrison at 7 and it is not, I mean that's close enough, we're not talking about a foregone conclusion here. That uh, those positions wouldn't switch. I mean look at Chapman, you know, everybody falling back against us now. So I think one more lap for Diaz. This is 28. I'll let her finish 29 and then go in. And then on 30, I'll send in Harrison. And I think we're going to be doing a significant amount of pushing in the last section. There we go, we can call that two-thirds. No problems that I see. I did change tires, right? Paranoid about not doing that. Go ahead and come in. And while you're doing that, we'll switch to harvest. For some reason, Diaz did a little more energy in the battery. Both drivers now in the upper six. 
So, so both drivers doing good, and, you know, and as I said, it does sometimes change because Diaz was not doing well earlier, and now she is. Gets by Blanc for the moment, but that won't hold as we're coming in. Harrison will get his moment in the sun again. Taking the lead. And then being told to come in. Go neutral to start. No, I don't want him. No, he should be pushing. Neutral just for Diaz. Who's back down to fifth. Yuck. Well. Goodness. Get by. No, you shouldn't. Get by Oliveira. Oliveira's slow right now. There's Diaz. Alright, we're second and third. We can neutralize it again. We are behind Vasquez, the pole sitter, by a few seconds. He will need to come in again, and then it will pretty much be over for everybody else. Lipping in three seconds back from Harrison. See Chapman all the way down in ninth, not having, so he revealed to be a pretender with his overly aggressive race strategy. Now almost two seconds gap between Diaz and Harrison. Um, so it's looking like uh, it's going to be Diaz the winner once again. We're just waiting for Vasquez to realize that he can't leg this out. Fastest lap of the race for Diaz. Really pulling away now from Harrison and making up some time on Vasquez. Well, Wexler goes even faster, but he's down in sixth. He's far enough behind, we don't really care. Diaz's form is falling, though, but so is Harrison's. They're both merely in the solid category of the high fives. We were in the high sixes there. And Vasquez tires now down to the point where he's really starting to give some ground. run these up so I should be able to just put on hybrid and then be done with it I'm gonna run with a little bit of extra fuel here at the end well nope not gonna do that I want to get the speed out of it so I will take it off briefly uh, to get uh, one, I'll, you know, take the take it down, and then take it off again, just to get the fuel down to a fairly minimal level. And I think we'll just push here with the tires for a bit. That should be down enough to handle it.
Vasquez coming back out in fifth and hoping to make a push. But uh, again, we're going to take the top spot. Kitano doing solid work, getting ahead of Panther. And Diaz opening up a big lead. Just tracking the uh, how the tires are doing on these push laps and also getting ready to go hybrid for the final time. And we used about 6% on the tires as we go hybrid both drivers. And we can pretty much sustain that. So I think I'm just pushing the rest of the way. And we're going to pick up another car at least. Might get uh, up to Woodford and Vidal there in 16th and 17th at most. But most cars going to finish on the lead lap. Dios maintaining a solid lead over Harrison. Not... Not dominating by any stretch, but not bad. And yeah, we'll have to back off the tires at a certain point because of temperature anyway. Grip only medium, not going up that far at all. It is another day of cool weather. We are about to conclude half of a season of perfect 1-2 finishes. Briefly went up to 16, it was 15 the rest of the way, it was dry the whole way. There pretty much are no concerns for us at the moment. Does look like we're going to get Vidal and Woodford. That would mean 15 cars on the lead lap, one crashing, four not on the lead lap. And the three lap marker once again. Okay, it's time to go back to neutral on Dias. And Harrison will have to do that as well. He just, his tire temperatures are a little bit lower. He may make, may make up a little bit of ground here but it's not going to be a lot. Instead we're riding with Vittorio Diaz who is going to soak up yet another win. I believe that's five in the eight races. And we might as well go neutral now again with Harrison. Final two laps, two and a half second gap. It's pretty much accomplished. And we're going to finish, instead of our 30 to 45 to a minute, we're going to finish 11 or 12 seconds up. The gap very much closing with the competition, but it has not closed completely. And nothing but open track for a while as DeGraff is up there quite a ways.
final set of turns here at Guildford. Diaz gets the checkered flag. And Harrison is happy with second. We have completed half of the season. There haven't been many rule breakers that we've seen, and none so far. Nina Holtz having the bad day for Steinman with the crash. Um, other than that, you know, spread them out pretty good. Kitano, third and ninth. Uh, Windsor had fourth and seventh with Lippin and Oliveira. They're probably the, the second place team of the day. Diaz now 14 point lead on Harrison. And look at that race for second. Kitano 106. Panther 106. Steinman with 105. And as it stands now, we have a five and a half races of points in our lead. So we continue to expand it, and we could have as little as two races left. And uh, everybody just saying, yep, good job, Hawkins. You did it again. Whoopee. They didn't have anything to say about the other competitors, which is probably the biggest compliment in there. We're the only ones worth talking about. So 6.8 and 6.1. We've got a new ability here. Super overtake mode. Um, even more power at the cost of a higher fuel burn and condition loss rate. So if he needs to just put it all on the line, we have that ability. So, I mean, Frank will probably use that some in the at the, at the beginning of races. So another small boost to marketability up to a third. Uh, I lost half a million. Debt's getting serious at 2.3. No work in progress. <laughs> so that was Guildford. Milan coming up next. From what I remember of it, should be good for us with it being a fast track. We are going to be looking at getting a new sponsor and hoping that we get a good one. Because we're going to need one. Yeah, we have one sponsor here. We're going to have more sponsors selling this. We have a good chance of at least holding this and keeping it from going down anymore. But I think we definitely do need to look at some of the other spots. Um, you know, so I mean, if we end up with... I'd rather not just agree to ninth. But, if, like, for example, the bonus pool isn't that much lower for this. And we could definitely finish top nine. So we'll be taking one of the other sponsors when that comes up. But for now, it's another win to celebrate. Milan coming up soon. Until then, thanks for watching.